Fall is finally here, and that means the holidays are right around the corner. And that in turn means that it's time for shopping season for said holidays, and manufacturers are gonna start rolling out their new products for the 2024 holiday season. I have the first in the My Arcade line of brand new products for 2024, first teased at CES this year. We're gonna take a look at it together right after this. This video brought to you in part by Tommy in the Order of Cosmic Champions. This exciting and heartwarming coming of age Gen X novel is available now. Check the link for more info. Hey there, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I'm John and I am a Gen X Grown Up. Thank you for taking the time to check out this video. You might remember last year, my arcade rolled out this Galaga joystick player. Now joystick is a bit of a misnomer. It's a flight yoke player. Uh, we took a look at it, we reviewed it back then. I can't help but feeling like this was a focus group activity my arcade was doing, putting out the feelers going, what do people think about these? And there was a lot of feedback on the joystick player to the point that when I had an opportunity to visit them at CES last year at the booth, they had rolled out several new products with this form factor. And the one I wanna take a look at today is the brand new Pac-Man joystick player. Gone is the flight yoke. You wanna play Pac-Man with a flight yoke. And now we have this big ball top red joystick to play Pac-Man more like you would have played it at an arcade machine back in the day. So, what does this new 2024 model bring to the table? Well, speaking of the table, let's head there now and find out. Over the past few years, my arcade has been slowly iterating on their micro players. They got a little bit better, the software got a little bit better, the controls got a little bit better. Uh, and Pac-Man, of course, is a tried and true title. Last year, they took a big swing with that Galaga joystick player. Now, it had the yoke flight stick, which was odd for Galaga, but I think we did our job well as a focus group for my arcade when we looked at that Galaga joystick player and went, that's interesting. What about putting a real joystick on these things? And that's what they finally done this year with the new Pac-Man joystick player. Now it's on pretty full display here through this uh, clear box. A couple things to point out that I will note down here. You'll see that, look, we have two game modes, not just one. So it doesn't say two games, but two game modes. And high score saving. Finally, finally, high score saving in these gadgets. It's about time. Around here on the back, I've always appreciated that my arcade puts a little uh, tile here of game history so you understand the significance of this game and the history of arcades. And then you open this little magnetic latch and you get a little preview of the stuff that was teased on the front. You peek over here in the features, License title, yes we know, 3.5 inch screen, larger than the 2.75 on last year's micro player. High score saving, classic mode, and speed up mode. So there's our second mode of play. You have the option of using the speed up chip, they say. Uh, and powered by AA batteries, USB-C cable, as we know. Now we know what to expect. Let's get this thing out of the box, powered up, and give it a try. So of course we have our Pac-Man joystick player and we have a little bit of printed material here to check out. Firstly, this is kind of new, maybe just starting with a GameStation Pro last year, but we have a model number and a certificate of authenticity that this is in fact a genuine My Arcade product. Uh, I think we'll keep that, that's actually quite nice. Then we have a catalog, which uh, is this the new catalog of all the new stuff? No. No, look, there's the pros from last year. Yeah, this is garbage. And then we have, is this just instructions? Yeah, we know that's garbage. On to the star of the show then, the Pac-Man joystick player itself, taking a lot of cues from last year's Galaga joystick player. The same basic idea, it appears for all the world like a micro player or micro player pro, I guess, from last year with this additional control deck down here. What used to be the control deck is just for kind of functions, home, credit, and stuff. Uh, artwork on the side is the original Pac-Man artwork. And in fact, rather than a decal, like this is not just a sticker. Like I can't, I can't even feel the edge of this. This has been printed right onto the plastic. Uh, and it's the same on both sides, of course, that original Pac-Man side artwork with a Pac-Man with feet. Let's come up top here and this marquee, I, it's a little, it looks a little translucent. And again, this is not a sticker. This is printed right on this plastic. I'm thinking this is gonna be backlit. I'm thinking, hoping, we'll see. I didn't see it listed on the box. I could have missed it. Uh, here's the 3.5 inch screen. I assume the same screen we saw on the Galaga joystick player last year, which admittedly was a quite nice screen and bigger than you'd get 
in a standard micro player. Now this original control deck that would have been on a micro player that came from this mold, I'm sure, is no longer really needed, right? So they just converted that into, effectively it takes the place of the knee board. You put in credits and stuff, because the knee board has turned into this tiny little sticker in there, just a little bit of a coin door. Uh, and you have home credit and the player one and player two start. So how about that giant joystick that gives the joystick player its name in the first place? Yeah, so. It feels to me for all the world like a standard size ball top joystick with a metal shaft down here. It does not spin, so if you try to rotate it, it's uh, locked in there. It's a little clicky, which is good, and it feels to me like it, if it's not a four-way joystick, it feels like there's a bit of a, uh, if not restrictor plate, a guiding plate in there to keep you from going diagonal, because if you try to go diagonal, it really tries to lean into one of the cardinal directions, right, north, south, east, or west. Um, and it feels good, it, you know, it could be a little taller for my large hand, but you can kind of, rather than put your hand here, you can set your hand down to the side, in which case it feels about right. So now how does it play? It remains to be seen, but how does it look? How does it feel? Pretty darn good. On a device of this size, it's worth noting, big rubber strips on both sides are running the entire length, so you're not gonna have trouble with it slipping around on the table when you're playing. And finally, a real quick look around back. Power on off switch, you have a volume up and down button, single rear firing mono speaker here. Below that, battery door, headphone jack, five volt USB-C power in, and a brightness toggle, which is something that was introduced last year in the Pro line. With the tour and vital statistics out of the way, let's get the battery door off, get some batteries in this thing, and take it for a test drive. It doesn't take long to get these batteries in, so I'm gonna quickly remind you of our store over at genxgrownup.com slash merch, where you can get original nerdy designs on hats and t-shirts and mugs and stickers and phone cases and pretty much anything you're interested in. And some pretty cool Pac-Man designs too. Every purchase you make gets you something cool and supports the next video like this one right here on Gen X Grown Up. All right, looks like we're done. Let's get back to it. And we go to the arcade. There's just a regular micro player. My arcade logo. Oh no. The marquee does not light up. It looked for all the world like it should, like it could. I think if you were industrious and wanted to dig into this thing, you could probably put a backlight back there. That's that's unfortunate, especially as this is selling for, you know, kind of a premium. My arcade is looking for ways to improve upon their Pac-Man, to iterate, right? So look, we got better, we got better software, and now we got a joystick, and it's and look, this lint itself, I almost think, if I had to guess, I bet they were planning on it and it just ended up not doing it for one reason or another because it certainly looks like it's a little bit uh, transparent there. Anyway, something that was asked about the Galaga joystick player last year, I don't think it's a question this year, but is the joystick in the way? Certainly not, unless you're going to lay down and look at it, right? <laughs> when you just look at the screen normally, even like this, the joystick is down there, your hand's not in the way, I have no trouble playing. Uh, so, I mean, this angle is exactly what I'm going to do to uh, try out the game. So, we can select between Pac-Man and Pac-Man with the speed up mode. All right, so push credit, let's jump into standard Pac-Man. All right, we're in the attract mode, let's put in a credit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Interesting, interesting. It looks like I'm gonna, my first glance, my first impression, this is probably the same Pac-Man version we got last year. And we know from last year, really good conversion, really good port. It's not the original arcade game. We knew that. Although, there are a few things the last year's did that I wonder if got improved here. Like I know if you ate two ghosts at the same time, You'd only get one chomp animation. The speaker sounds really good. And though I haven't mentioned it yet, the joystick is absolutely transparent to my gameplay, which sounds kind of negative. That's a good thing. It feels like it should feel. The best way to control Pac-Man, short of standing in a real arcade game, uh, it just feels like the right controls. So that's what I mean when I say it's transparent. I don't notice the stick. It doesn't call attention to itself. I can wrap this up. All right. Got to beat that high score because this has high score saving. And then we're going to have to go and test, of course, the, uh, the second version of the game. The speed up version. Those big rubber feet do a great job of holding this to the table. 
My extra man. There's my high score. That's good news. All good news. Whoa, I got caught. There we go. All right, first intermission. Sounds pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and kill Pac-Man so we can check that high score saving. I mean, it's advertised, so by golly, it ought to work. Oh, come back. Okay, and I'm not just going to go home. I'm going to turn it all the way off and back on. Yep, and back into regular Pac-Man. And there's my high score. Hot damn, it's about time. It's about time we got high score saving on these things. All right, so let's go and check out uh, the speed up version. Entirely different game. Most people know Ms. Pac-Man with a speed up chip, but that same chip, that worked in the Pac-Man as well. So let's see. Okay, credit. Here we go. That opening music sounds a little bit muffled compared to the other sounds, and I don't know why. Oh, man! I forgot I was playing the speed-up version. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, an entirely different Pac-Man. And you know what else is important is it needs to have its own high score. That's something we got to verify. Because a high score here is going to be way better than a high score on standard. Come here, ghost. <laughs> you got time to run up here and grab a dot. It can be so much fun to play the speed-up version. Especially if you know and enjoy the regular. And it's, it's kind of like playing on God mode. Because you're just so... You can get to those fruit before they disappear. You can work your way into a corner. Oh, look at there! Two ghosts at the same time. I got two animations. They fixed that. So this is not 100% last year's ROM. They did make some improvements. We need to get a high score again so we can test the high score. And there's my extra man. We're seeing a different high score than what we got before. Grab a few ghosts, that should be a problem. I mean, if you're one of those people that just can't play on the little miniaturized joysticks on these little, little tiny players, well, this fixes that problem. I mean, this is... For my brain, this just feels like an arcade joystick. I mean, I expect it's probably not, probably not as durable as a genuine, like a Hap or Sanwa or something, but it's... My brain says you're playing on a cabinet. Come here, Blinky. Oh, there we go. Pinky got me. Excellent. All right, so 16,870. All right, turning it off and on. All right, so let's go into the Speed Up Pac-Man. 16,870, great. All right, and let's check and see that the standard speed kept its proper score. They can't override each other, right? <laughs> and there it is, 11,590. So there we go. So two versions of Pac-Man, Standard and Speed Up, both have their own high score retention. You have this big full-size joystick to play with. Uh, yeah, I would say it's an improvement over last year. If you've made it this far in this video, then you probably already know whether or not this Pac-Man joystick player is for you or not. But let's quickly recap. Again, we know it's not the genuine arcade ROM, but it is the custom My Arcade ROM. It's not that NES ROM anymore. Those are gone from years ago. And they continue to improve upon it, getting closer and closer. So for whatever reason, they can't or won't include the arcade ROM at this price point. I don't know their reasoning, but what I do know is I'm always harping on we want the arcade experience. We want the arcade experience. A genuine ROM would go a long way toward that. You know what else helps? Authentic controls. And my arcade went above and beyond this year with a full-size joystick that when I'm playing, it does more to bring me into the uh, immersiveness of the game. And I, I think I said that I, it, it's like transparent to me. I'm not thinking about how do I navigate a tiny joystick. It just feels like I'm driving Pac-Man the way you should with a big ball top joystick like I would do standing in the arcade. And that means a lot. It's also worth calling out what else they did for us that we've been asking for. High score saving. That is another huge component of these original arcade games. They're not that complex. You're doing things to earn points. The points matter. And when I get a high score, I want it to stick. And now it does. Twice, it sticks both on the regular and on the speed up version. I didn't see the speed up version coming. I think that's a great addition and a great way to extend the life and value of a toy like this. You can play it original or you can play it with that speed up. 
This new 2024 joystick player starts shipping at the end of this month. So if you decide it's for you, links down in the description where you can click and order right now. As for a summary, continuing to improve upon the product for this 2024 Pac-Man joystick player from My Arcade, four tokens out of five. It's a great Pac-Man experience. That joystick goes a long way toward bringing you into the immersion. You have high scores saving, and if you just had that real arcade ROM, you could probably get that fifth token by arcade, but four tokens, not too shabby. Look, I'll throw links here and here to some other 2024 products as they start coming out. I certainly hope you found something to enjoy in this video, and I can't wait to talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.